Good morning. Please all stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that you to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together with our personal intentions, we offer this Holy Mass as a thanksgiving for the gift of life and birthday intentions of Vivian Libre, Alec Aguyen, Jorind May, and of aspirant Jules Bagay. For the intentions of Carl Anthony Pesquela, Mark Gerard, Princess Grace Toledo, Carlo and Karen Suico, Frenchy V. Regino, Chill, Eldin Camposo, and of Isan, for the intentions of Celso Baraka Jr., Rio, Rex and Debbie Villavelez, Shem Cordova, and of Isan. For the healing, recovery, and good health of Father George Militante, Father Felix Forlan, Father Franco Uras, Brother Bert Tana, Clara Cabilan, Lynette Caballo, Kent Veloso, Facundo Huntilia, Alexis Pasaol, Juliet Enriquez, Carmencita Villaflor, Bong Tunacao, Glorita Selga, and of Limuel Guanzon. Petition for the reparation of personal sins of Jan and Jing. For the complete physical healing, fast recovery, and total good health of Januarius, Maria Jessica, Kiel, and Christian. For good health, safety, and protection of Jason Gino Carganera, Kenneth and Daryl Macaraya, Anna Marie Enriquez, Ray Benedict Clawas, Rufilia Huntilia, Flor Villarias and family, and of Susan Lim and family. For the eternal Pacheco, Vicente Senior, Vicente Junior, Ana Corita, Clara, Reynaldo Quiliosa, Liliosa Barwado Yamuay, Maximino Sarol, Dominica Zamora, Nisetos M. Beltran, Alejandro Lawas, Marifel Batikin, Degi de Gilmo, Grace Manulat, Christian Enriquez, Rufino Huntilia Sr. and Jr., 
Eleanor Duterte, Doctora Bartelit, Maria Luzli Rufo, Anelsa and Nelson Ariesgado, Lynette Rodriguez, Chodoro Mejia Jr., Francis Allen Villamor, Agnes Veloso, Dominica Danio, Manuel Danio, Joy Danio Luib, Rene Zamora, Conigundo Celis, Boy, Dodong and Larry Enriquez, Richard Lupian, Tereso, Nino, Roche, Romeo Alburo, Flora Alburo, Shelo May Berame, Felipa, Mario Alburo, Crispen Andrecoso, Teresita, Loreto Sr., Loreto Jr., Peñafort, Roland, Leonilo de la Serna, Rosalina Villafuerte, and for all of the poor souls in purgatory. Please all stand. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. The humble man will hear of him, the afflicted will be glad. And join with me to magnify the Lord. Let us exalt his name together forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola, who died in 1556, a soldier and founder of the Society of Jesus, which was approved by Pope Paul III in 1540. He authored the spiritual exercises, founded the Roman College, and at his death, the Society of Jesus numbered a thousand members in 76 houses in 12 provinces. He is the patron saint of retreatants and soldiers. Today being the last day of the month, we also commemorate St. John Bosco. We pray in this Eucharist that through the intercession of these saints, founder saints, that we may continue to be faithful in living our following the Lord. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Ignatius of Loyola in your church to further the greater glory of your name, grant that by his help we may imitate him in fighting the good fight on earth 
and merit to receive with him a crown in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, this message came from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, Stand in the court of the house of the Lord and speak to the people of all the cities of Judah who come to worship in the house of the Lord. Whatever I command you, tell them, and omit nothing. Perhaps they will listen and turn back, each from his evil way, so that I may repent of the evil I have planned to inflict upon them for their evil deeds. Say to them, Thus says the Lord, If you disobey me, not living according to the law I place before you, and not listening to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I send you constantly, though you do not obey them. I will treat this house like Shiloh and make this the city which all the nations of the earth shall refer to when cursing another. Now the priests, the prophets, and all the people heard Jeremiah speak these words in the house of the Lord. When Jeremiah finished speaking, all that the Lord bade him to speak, to all the people, the priests and prophets laid hold of him, crying, You must be put to death. Why do you prophesy in the name of the Lord? This house shall be like Shiloh, and this city shall be desolate and deserted. And all the people gathered about Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Those outnumber the hairs of my head who hate me without cause. Too many for my strength, a day who run fully, are my enemies. Must I restore what I did not steal? Lord, in your great love, answer me. Since for your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me. <clears throat> and insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, I, O God, in your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to his native place and spent his time teaching the people in their synagogue. They were filled with amazement and said to one another, Where did this man get such wisdom and miraculous powers? Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't Mary known to be his mother, and James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas his brothers? Aren't his sisters our neighbors? Where did he get all these? 
they found him altogether too much for them. Jesus said to them, No prophet is without honor except in his native place, indeed in his own house. And he did not work many miracles there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. What is the difference between being knowledgeable and being understanding? Today's Gospel story helps us see the difference between these two ideas. The people at the hometown of Jesus knew some basic facts about him. His father was a carpenter, the name of his mother, Mary, his brothers and sisters. Take note in the gospel, the Greek term for brothers is Adelphoi and for sisters, Adelphi, which means even cousins are considered as brothers and sisters. Even a friend can be an Adelphus, an Adelpha. For the Jews, getting some significant details based on family life is enough to know that person. But what was the stumbling block that caused Jesus' own people not to accept him? I guess for his own townspeople, Jesus was just too ordinary. They are too too familiar about him. Yes, they are knowledgeable about Jesus, but they did not understand him. The word understand comes from an old English term, understandan, which literally means to stand in the midst of or to stand under. To stand under. When I want to say I know, we are above other else. But when we stand under, someone is above us. I guess that was the attitude of Jesus' own people. They were saying, I know him. I know his background. I know his family. As if they were holding Jesus' own curriculum vitae. But what is demanded in order Jesus clearly, more dearly, and to follow him more closely. What is demanded? Faith. When we have faith, we cannot be above God. We are standing under his guidance, under his enlightenment, and under his providence. Under God's lordship, we can never boast but be humble and be submissive to his own will. God is our creator, and we are creatures. Jesus is our master, and we are disciples. It implies that knowledge is not the end, but just the start to experience, to savor, and to delight, awe and wonder. Before God, we are in front of the mystery that tells us the more you know, the more there is to know. Therefore, the most exciting thing to be and to do as disciples of our Lord is not to go around the world and learn foreign languages, to climb mountains, to cross oceans, and to be among the wild animals in Africa safari or in the Amazons of Latin America. The most exciting things to be and to do are to find God in all things and to do His most holy will. Today is the memorial of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the priest and founder of the Society of Jesus. His spiritual exercises is his gift to the church. He and his spiritual sons, the Jesuits, gave this treasure to the church and to all people of goodwill to make discernment as a way of life. When we discern, we do not simply weigh the pros and the cons 
of the various options that are before us, but to seek God and to do His will. Why did not God give us just everything to us, His plan, like a blueprint? When we seek God and do His will, we are actually using our higher faculties of intellect and will. In doing so, we praise and glorify Him. Ad maiorem dei gloriam. For the greater glory of God. Most of the time, we think that God and His glory are palpable when we are at the very height of our victory. You won in a football match for the greater glory of God. You got the highest score in the exam for the greater glory of God. You did very well in your work. You achieved a lot for the greater glory of God. But my dear brothers and sisters, it is very difficult to find God and do His will. In this time of pandemic, when we are suffering, when we are in pain, and when we are feeling at a loss. And so we ask, where is God? Why is God so quiet? I do not have a crystal clear answer to that. But in the Gospels, the God of Jesus Christ became silent, was quiet when He suffered. Why is God quiet when we suffer? God is quiet and silent because God suffers for us, with us, and in us. When we find God in our suffering, we are empowered to articulate meaning that breeds faith, hope, and love to our world that is broken but is never forsaken. Why? For as long as God is God in season and in out of season, we have the reason to see within and to look beyond. Saint Ignatius of Loyola is considered as one of the great saints. The Jesuits have done so many accomplishments but I think St. Ignatius embodied the motto, Ad Maiorem Dei Gloriam, not when he proved to the church and to the world what he could do much, but when he surrendered. His prayer, known as Sushipe, beautifully encapsulates the harmonious blending of his life and God's work. Let this be our prayer as we strive to find God and do His will. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will, all I have, and call my own. You have given all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. That is enough for me. Amen. Jesus was rejected by his own people. In faith, we accept him as our Lord and Savior. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church bespeak the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we may be strengthened to proclaim zealously and fearlessly 
the gospel message in our homes and neighborhood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That missionaries may be patient and not lose heart in sowing the message of God to unwelcoming places. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That parents of handicapped children, those who care for the aged, and all those who are suffering at home or in hospital may bear silent witness to the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God may comfort those who are mourning over the death of their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Oratio Imperata. God, our, our Father, Father, we come, come to you in our need to ask your protection against the coronavirus disease 2019 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Halt of the Sea, pray, pray for, for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. San Roque, pray, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud. Pray for us. Heavenly Father, we call on you with confidence to hear the prayers of your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these offerings we make to you as we celebrate St. Ignatius be pleasing, Lord God, and grant that the sacred mysteries 
which you have made the fount of all holiness, may sanctify us too in the truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Ignatius of Loyola, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Spiritual communion. O Jesus, I turn toward the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O my God. I cannot receive you in holy communion. Come nevertheless and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrifice of praise that we have offered with thanksgiving in honor of St. Ignatius, O Lord, bring us to exalt your majesty without end. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We invite our birthday celebrator for a blessing. This blessing also goes to all those who are following us in this Eucharist are celebrating their birthday today. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of Jules and all the birthday celebrators who recalls today the day of their birth and rejoices in your gifts of life and love, family, friends, and community. Bless them with your presence and surround them with your love, that they may enjoy many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Bosco, our loving Father, now we lift to Thee our voices as we gather around Thine altar, far and wide the world rejoices. O Don Bosco, hear Thy dear. Shall love and repair. 
little time be no more. Don Bosco, the children on many a shore shall love and revere me till time be no more. Saint John Bosco, our loving. Till time. 